Hey Kevin here with another Flippin' Dork Flips and Finds video where I show you different items to pick up really cheap, thrifting and garage selling, mostly garage selling right now. And then I sell them online, either on eBay or locally through Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, different places like that. Anyway, today is Friday. There's a bunch of garage sales. I've already gone out and filled up the van one time, had emptied out. I'll show you what I found. Then I gotta go back out. There's a uh, vanity and a dresser I already bought. I just couldn't fit, I have to pick them back up. I'm gonna hit up more sales and see what else I can find. So I found some pretty cool stuff today so far already. So let me show you the local finds. All right, here's a quick overview of the local finds I have brought home so far. And like I said, I have a dresser and a vanity that will probably fill up the van already, but I need to go pick them up. I paid for them, but I just, I couldn't fit them. So, okay, here on the ends, these two black, uh, like nightstands are really tall they're actually really big but they're not real wood they're not painted very nicely and this one broke in the van I took a, a hard turn and it, it tipped over and this hit the side of the van and it snapped off so I got to re-screw that down as you can see it's not real wood so that is not a very nice piece but five bucks for that one five bucks for that one so I only have 10 in them I want to turn and burn them quick I'll probably ask either 35 or maybe 45 for them and uh, I learned last week the, what was it, 41 people were asking me about uh, matching uh, nightstands I had. They said it's hard to find a pair that match. So that's why I got these even though they're not real wood and they were just so dirt cheap. I should be able to sell them pretty well. So I don't know, 35, 40 bucks, something like that. Okay, I also got these plastic, uh, what do you call them, Ad Adirondack chairs or whatever, deck chairs. Um, only reason I really got these, they're not in the greatest condition, but they were free. So there's three of them. I could probably sell them for 10 bucks, maybe 15 for all three. One of them has the, uh, well here I'll show you, the little thingy's kind of broke. It's not that big a deal, but just the thing right here in the very middle is broke. But the rest of it's good, the seat's fine and all that. So I don't know, we'll just assume about 10 bucks. Okay, this little mid-century side table here, and then this little three deck, three level table or whatever. They're asking $4 on that one, and probably can't see it but 750 on that at the same sale so together that would be 1150 and uh, I asked if I bought them both together she could do a better deal I was hoping to get them for eight she said nine I just went with it I didn't want to bargain for another dollar so I'm considering that one four and this one five that should be pretty good for four dollars I should be able to sell that one one for probably 15 or 20 dollars I'll probably ask 20 and see what happens and then this table here probably same thing I don't think I I don't know I might be able to get 25 but it'll probably end up going for like 15 or 20 so I'll make you know 10 15 bucks on that so not huge flips but uh, they should go okay uh, let's see what else okay this chair here is actually one I just picked up I thought it was pretty cool it had a really cool top took that only five bucks I decided to pay the full five slight wobble to the arm but not too bad so it needs work but someone out there is gonna like that I mean it has especially this top up here I mean that is super cool all right so for five bucks because um, it, it's going to need a lot of work. I don't know. It, I mean, it's that dark wood. It's got the uh, the wood casters. This is this is the type of thing that usually it could surprise me. But I'll uh, I might start at 40, 45 bucks, something like that. Maybe that's like way underpriced to sell quick. But if not, I assume it will probably go for like 30, 35, something like that. Whatever. I just want to turn and burn it real quick. I don't really care too much about that one. Okay, this here is another one. They were asking 10 and uh, real wood, it's actually built really nice. They were asking 10 bucks. I assume someone's gonna buy that and repaint it because it's just, you know, whatever. It could be used, but it's a little scratched up. But it has cool lines on it, it would look really cool painted up. Uh, anyway, they're asking 10. I got a deal because I bought a bunch of stuff. I got it for five bucks. So I'll probably try to sell it for like 25. We'll see. Okay, this one up here is really cool. All right, check that out. It's got a marble top. And then like that little brass, almost like a crown on top, and then the wood legs. Uh, three bucks on that thing. It's actually really heavy. So that one's actually really cool. I might ask maybe about 25 on that or so, maybe 30. I don't know. We'll see. I might, I might, I might try 30 just to just to see what happens. See if I get any offers. But more than likely, it's going to go like 25, maybe even 20. But it was only three bucks. So it'd be a good flip. Okay, so that is the local finds I brought home so far. I need to go and uh, pick up the uh, dresser and the vanity, and then I'm going to hit up some more sales. I'll bring that stuff home. I'll show you, and then I will show you the things I found for eBay. All right, and I just got back from my second round of garage selling, and here are the other local finds I picked up. So pretty good stuff today. So we'll start with this one. This thing is a total winner. All right, look at that. 
they're only asking 30 bucks and I got it cheaper than that so this thing has got really nice style but lots of wear and it's pretty dirty I'm definitely going to wipe it down but I'm not gonna spend my time trying to paint it or anything I'll let someone else do that it's like almost shabby chic but not quite good enough for shabby chic so I don't know I mean check out the mirror I mean that thing is ornate so anyway I bought it and this dresser at the same sale they were asking 20 on this it's not real wood this particle board was in pretty good shape and the only problem was this drawer right here the little it's probably easier to show you on this the little metal channel was bent on the end and it wouldn't catch on the little railing there so when it would slide out oops, now I got to get this back in there all right so when it would slide out it would just fall you know as soon as it got to this point it would just want to fall out it wouldn't catch so I just took some uh, pliers to it bent it back in place and now it's fine so now I can bring it out like that and it doesn't fall out so that's pretty cool so for 20 bucks and then I was able to get this one for 20 bucks as well so I said hey if I buy both can I do a better deal they said how about 40 that's exactly what I was thinking so that's what I got so this thing here spent 20 on it I will clean it up because it's just a little bit dirty looking I think a lot of that might be able to come up by wiping it down and then all the wear you just then call patina when you sell it all right it's got the wood casters on it. definitely very old so I think that's an easy $75 I might ask more just to see maybe 85 I don't want to do too much though it's still kind of a turn and burn but it's like a good turn and burn you know like 50 60 dollar profit this one right here it's not real wood maybe that paint will come off I don't know that's the only yeah I think I could probably scratch that off but it's not too bad a condition but for 20 bucks I think that would be a quick I think this one really could be about maybe $50 it's a little yeah I don't know it's a little worn I want to get rid of it quick so I'll go 50 55 dollars somewhere around there just wipe it down okay this was a really cool find uh, I found six bar stools check out the price that's a great garage sale price right there five dollars each or 25 for a set of six and I got them cheaper than that all right you just got to make a little bit of small talk and uh, usually it works better if you uh, do a bundle deal so I bought a pair of Merrill hiking boots there I'll show you here in a little bit they were asking five on those 25 on all these I said hey if I buy the boots and all the uh, stools out there would you do tw uh, 25 for everything and they said sure we'll do that and they said that quick so they definitely were wanting to get rid of these um, very heavy and made well but man they are scuzzy I mean check that out that is some nasty stains on there so I don't want to flip them as is because I think as dirty as they are is gonna be a real turn off to people and it's gonna be like a, a lever they can use against me when negotiating so I think what I'm actually going to do is take all those covers off and redo them and then I think we will spray paint this kind of cheesy it looks like granite or something the metal frame we're gonna spray paint those white and then some type of uh, new covers on them to make it look a lot better and I might turn it into a real quick DIY dork video or something like that but anyway I got them for twenty dollars alright so I don't know what I could get out of them but we'll say definitely a hundred dollars probably 120 but I might even try for like 150 if they look okay so that's kind of cool but anyway that was the uh, local finds so now if I have time let me show you the stuff I can put on eBay all right well I just don't have the time today to be in front of my whiteboard and write everything down I'm just kind of in a rush so I'll just kind of show you the stuff I picked up and I'll try to remember the prices on it I forgot this is another local sale I got at a sale today it's rubber coated dumbbells are a little dirty I have to clean them up there's two eights two fives two threes and two ones I grabbed them because I was actually looking for a set of I think eights to complete uh, some I bought a while back but now I just bought a full set and I only paid five dollars for that whole box and uh, with weights you can usually get somewhere between 50 and 75 cents per pound so that would be what two pounds and that's six pounds so now we're up to eight pounds these are fives tens we're at 18 pounds and then two eights would be 16 so 18 and 16 should be what a little over 30 something pounds so I don't know this probably like uh, I'd probably ask about $25 somewhere around there see if I get it maybe even 30 just because they're rubber coated 
But uh, anyway, I thought that was a great deal. So for five bucks, that'd be a pretty good flip locally. You know, maybe a quick $20 or something like that, maybe a little more. Okay, at that same sale, I got these two boxes of Cabbage Patch dolls. So check this out. This one has an Annie doll in there, which will play a uh, important role here in just a minute. But this one is all Cabbage Patch. I sold some of these recently and uh, they did really well. Sold quickly too. Got a Nerf gun in there, a little tiny one. So this is that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, eight Cabbage Patch dolls. Last time I had six Cabbage Patch dolls and I have accessories. So I have some clothes, a whole bunch of shoes, some more clothes, a uh, bag of some sort, and I think that's it. So the last time I had Cabbage Patch dolls, I think I bought five or six. I think it was six of them at Goodwill, and I don't remember if it was a dollar each or maybe a dollar fifty or three. I don't know, it was somewhere between a dollar and three dollars each, and they ended up selling for like fifty, uh, fifty or sixty dollars. So. There's eight of them here. They're a little dirty, but I think that's okay. Just kind of clean up their faces and the rest of it, you just kind of leave alone. And a bunch of clothes. This is probably, I might be able to get like $100 out of that. I don't know, pretty close to it at least. Maybe somewhere around $80 to $100, I'll have to see. So uh, anyway, these two full boxes was only $5. So that's gonna be a great flip. And just cause I was curious, this was in there, this Annie doll. I looked this up, one recently sold, I think for about $13 plus shipping. So when I sell this one doll, it will pay for the weights and the box of uh, Cabbage Patch stuff. Now this over here is, I don't know, still new sealed. It's like the body for kind of a knockoff Cabbage Patch doll, I guess for crafters. Got some doll legs and stuff in there, so I don't know. I might just, uh, there we go, that thing's creepy. But, uh, Anyway, I'll probably just try selling all this together as one lot. Maybe someone out there wants to make baby doll stuff and I can get, I don't know, 20, 25 bucks out of that, something like that. So for $5, I think this is at least $100 worth of like doll stuff. And then that over there, $5 for weights is probably at least 20, 25 bucks, if not more. It's pretty cool. All right, I just hit up a sale and saw these skates. I had to buy them, I thought that was pretty cool. They look like they're in pretty good condition. Little bit scuffed up, I'll clean them up, but pretty good condition. They were only asking $4. I said, would you take two? Yes, they said that real quick. So they wanted to get rid of these things. They don't have a ton of value, but for $2, I think it'd be worth it. I could probably sell them somewhere around 25 to 30, probably about 25 plus shipping. I think the last pair that was similar to these was like $26 plus shipping. So if I wanna get rid of them quick, I'll do that. So I'll make a little over, well, after fees not, probably right around $20. Okay, and another sale, found a TI-83 calculator. Not as good as an 84, but 83s are still pretty good. When the uh, school season comes around, this will probably be 30 bucks, maybe 35. I'm not sure, it might e these might even actually bump up to about 40. So I think I'll hold on to it. I only paid a dollar. I'll definitely have to check it with uh, batteries, but it should sell well. Uh, hit up another sale and found more plushes. And uh, I probably should quit buying dolls and plushes because I really don't like dealing with like breaking up lots. I like lots like this where you just kind of sell all together. But ones like these, you kind of have to break it up. But just because uh, I was curious, their sign said 50 cents each. And the Snoopy right here, I looked him up. He's about $18.99, $19.99 with free shipping. So that's pretty good. It's a decent flip. I think it's from like 1968 or something like that. It's actually kind of an old one. Okay, and then I bought a bunch of Ernie and Burt's. I saw, I think it was these two, our list on eBay, going for about 20 bucks. Maybe, maybe it was more, maybe it was like $24. But just these two together. So I think what I'll do is just sell all of these I found, all right? And just because I'll throw in a Kermit as well, all right? So I paid what, a dollar, two dollars, two fifty. For all five of those, and I think I could turn that into, I don't know, might be kind of weird someone wanting to buy that many, but maybe there is someone, I don't know. But I think definitely I can get like 15 to 20 out of these, and if I add the rest, 
I don't know, I paid 250, I could probably turn it into like 25 bucks, something like that. Okay. This was a really cool find. I've never found them until just now. Now this one I'm not sure has great value, but I thought it was a really cool knife. It's got super fine serrated edge on there. You can't even see it. And then it rounds off. The brand is, what is that? Tramontina or something like that, some type of butcher knife. But uh, I looked into that and uh, for a dollar, I think this is, it's not that grave of a flip. It's like, I don't know, $15, $18, something like that. But the main reason I bought knives, since they're a dollar piece, these are Cutco's. And uh, I've heard people talking, you know, good about Cutco's that they sell really well for good money. Now, I'm not sure about this one because it's kind of a weird, I don't know, it looks like almost a big butter knife or, I don't know, maybe it's like something for cutting bread. But these two right here could be really good. I need to look them up. I don't know if there's like a number on them or something, but uh, they were only a dollar a piece. And when I did a real quick search for Cutco's that had, uh, you know, these uh, handles kind of like this, they were going for really good money. I need to double check, but I was seeing like $50 knives and $60 knives, $70 knives. So I don't know if they'll go for that. Maybe, maybe these are like not very good Cutco's and they're like, you know, $20 a piece. But I don't know, there's a, there's a really good chance that those might be like, you know, it could be a $50 knife or a $60 knife or whatever, but I'll have to double check. But pretty good flip for $1. Okay, at that same sale, check that out. Found another of those, uh, one of those handheld Garmin GPSs. All right, this one's still in the box. It was $10. I grabbed it. I knew this thing was going to have value. I looked it up, and this one should go over $100 with the box, all the instructions, all that kind of stuff. I think it might be about 125 or something like that. So that's a great flip. So that garage sale, I paid $14. If these really are $50 knives, then I spent $15 and will make like over 200. So that would be pretty awesome if I can actually get that kind of price out of them. Okay, and then this last thing here, I had never ever heard of it before, but thought it looked kind of interesting. This is the uh, VEX Robotics Design System version 5. The kid told me he paid 300 for it new. Yeah, there we go. Robotic Design System. It was 300 new. He said it's not missing any parts. They were asking $50. Basically, you build your own remote control robot. So it's got this binder thing in there, Inventor's Guide. It's kind of cool. You can just build all kinds of, I don't know, different things. Tons of parts and bolts and all that. The huge uh, remote control here. This is pretty cool. The box is a little bit ripped up. But uh, anyway, he was asking 50. He said, yeah, I paid $300 for that thing brand new. I said, well, can you do a better deal? And he was like, well, how about 40? I said, sold, I'll take it for 40, it's pretty cool. So anyway, I looked this up and I could probably get, I don't know if people are gonna care that the box is kind of messed up, but there we go, it kind of shows you it a little better. But for $40, I think I might be able to get around 100, maybe like 125, somewhere around there. Not too bad, so that'd be a pretty good flip. Not too hard to ship out either since it's already in the box. Okay, here are the Merrill shoes I was talking about to get a better deal for those bar stools. And they're in pretty good shape. They're women's size nine. I'll have to clean them up a little bit, but you can tell they weren't, I mean, they were used, but they're not like worn out. And uh, I looked them up and for five bucks, I think I could sell these for probably 35 to 45, somewhere around there. We'll say they probably pan out about 35 to 40 though. So I thought that was a pretty good flip. And I bought a couple of HDMI cables just because I needed some when I got my uh, PlayStation 3 and my little mini Nintendo a while back. And uh, I realized that HDMI cables are kind of pricey, so I got two of them for 25 cents in case I ever find anything else that needs them. And I had a couple of bad buys too. I bought them blind, I didn't look them up because the people were standing right there, I didn't want to get out my phone. And they weren't asking much, so I thought it would be worth it. So first one here, I don't even really want to get it out because it's not that good. It's a Fujifilm digital camera, 14 megapixels. They were asking five bucks. I thought, well, that's got to be 
you know, that's got to be at least like 20, 25 bucks, something like that. So I was like, okay, I'll probably take that, but let me see what else they have. So then I was looking at this and I saw Sony. I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Okay, Sony video camera, cool. Then I realized that it is one of those Sony like mini DVD type cameras. So it doesn't take those, you know, cassette tapes or whatever. It just takes mini DVs or DVDs, I should say. And I remember looking these up before. I couldn't remember if it was a good deal or not. I asked, how much are they asking? And uh, they said, uh, well, how about $5? So take the whole box for 10. So I said, okay, I'll do it. So it turns out that this $5 um, camera is like 12 to $15. So it was a really bad buy. I didn't look it up. This is not that great, but I mean, it'll be okay. Spent five on it. It's probably going to sell for like 25, maybe 30, 35, somewhere around there. So not very good. I mean, it's okay, but I thought it was going to be, you know, 50, 60, 70 dollars, like double what it really is. So I spent ten dollars and I could probably sell everything for a total of 45, 50 dollars, something like that. And I'm not sure if that was with free shipping or not. I'll have to double check. So I don't know. That was kind of a bad buy. But that's what I picked up today. I got to get really busy cleaning up everything, get it listed. We got some stuff scheduled to do later tonight. So I just got to get going with that. And then, of course, tomorrow is Saturday. There's going to be more sales. I'm probably not going to hit up too many because I just have so much stuff going on right now. But uh, anyway, that's what I picked up today so far. So pretty cool stuff. All right, so while I was out garage selling today, I also had a few eBay sales that were pretty good. So first one here, here I'll do this one first. So this was kind of an experiment. So this is a Pendleton fleece blanket. Now Pendleton makes really awesome wool coats and stuff. And uh, anyway, I saw this at TJ Maxx. I bought it brand new. This is like retail arbitrage. I bought this back before Christmas, I think. It was either before Christmas or right after Christmas. And they had it on sale. And uh, it was supposed to have been like 50 or $55. And it was on sale for 20, I think maybe $23.99 or something like that. So with tax, I paid $26.93 for this. I thought I could flip it for about double, get about $50 out of it. So I think for the longest time, time I had it listed for about $51.99 with shipping, you know, plus shipping. And it just wasn't moving. There was a couple that had sold. They had like a, a row of, I don't know, six or seven of them there. So I just bought one to see how well it sold. If it did well, I was going to buy more of them. Well, luckily I just bought the one because it took forever to sell. So now it's like 100 degrees in June and this thing sells. All right, so I had the price down to $42.95 plus shipping. That's what it took to sell. So I had 20, uh, 20, basically $27 in it, and it only sold for $43, so it's not that great. They also paid $13.14 for shipping. So I just I, that just seems incredibly expensive. I, I don't know if they, they must have paid, that must have been priority shipping, because I don't know, I just did not think this thing would be that much to ship. I thought it would be like 6 or $7, but I was totally wrong. So basically, they paid $42.95 plus $13.14 shipping, which is a total of $56.09. So it really did go for like the $50 something dollars in total. I probably could have put it at like $54.95 free shipping, $59.95 free shipping, and it, I don't know, maybe that would have sold, but oh well. It finally went, so I'll make some money. It was at $43, and I paid $27. There's going to be some fees involved, so. I'm not gonna make a whole lot off of it, basically. So, anyway, I need to ship this off, get it sent out, it's in the bag just right. Okay, this next one here, I have it taped up, so you won't be able to see it. I'll have to show a picture. But this is the game board that I bought at a garage sale a couple weeks ago now for the game Pollyanna. And I bought it from this lady. Uh, I bought a telescope there as well, and in another board game, which I don't, or board uh, game board, I should say, which I don't think it's, if it sells, it's going to take a while, but I knew this one was probably going to sell. But this lady, it turns out, she said she is like a Pollyanna super fan. She said she has like every version of the game, and she beats everyone she plays, and uh, I had never heard of it before, but apparently it's a pretty old um, board game. And uh, this one just looked really cool. It had really nice graphics, and I just thought it looked kind of cool, so I bought it. It was only 50 cents. And uh, when I looked them up, they were selling for like, 
$10 plus shipping, maybe $14 plus shipping, somewhere around there. So uh, that was a while back. I finally got around to listing it the other day. And uh, I put it up for $24.95 of free shipping. And within a day, it had several watchers. So I was like, wow, okay, that uh, I was surprised about that. I probably should have asked more. And then that was like two days ago. It had watchers, and now it's sold already. So it went for $24.95 of free shipping. I don't know where it's going, but it doesn't weigh that much. Uh, 1.5 or 1 pound 5 ounces. And uh, basically, I just took the game board. I wrapped it in saran wrap to kind of waterproof it just a little bit, and then I just wedged it between two pieces of cardboard and then taped it. So that's it, just real simple. And then as you can see, I wrote do not bend on there so that they don't bend it. So it's pretty easy to ship out. Turns out that the game board I had is probably like a hundred years old. I didn't know it was that old. I thought it was going to be, you know, it just looked old, but it was really only from like the 60s or something. But I think this particular uh, game board, it might actually be a hundred years old, so that's kind of cool. Okay, this last sale, this one I think is super cool. Alright, I bought this at a uh, neighborhood garage sale a couple weeks ago. This is that monogram model from 19, I don't remember if it was 1968 or 1969, but it is a hot rod surf machine garbage truck. How cool is that? I think that is super cool. I would love to drive around a hot rod garbage truck. That'd be pretty cool. So anyway, I got this along with some other models. I have another one that had the, what do they call it? The Serpent has like snake seats and all that. That one might go for serious money. It has some watchers right now. This one sold pretty well. So I got it for $3. It sold for $24.95 plus $7.40 shipping, which I believe is $32.35 total. And I paid $3. So um, basically after fees and all that, I'll probably make like $19 on it, something like that. So I couldn't pass on it. I thought that thing was really cool. I think it's actually complete too. A couple of parts someone had taken apart, they put the wheels together and then they painted a couple of things, but they never glued it together or any, anything like that. So I was surprised that it sold that quickly. I thought I'd be holding on to that one for a while. So anyway, I have exactly 30 minutes to get uh, labels for these printed and then take over to the um, post office and then get back and then start uh, uploading all of that local stuff I bought today. My wife is going to kill me when she gets back. She hates when I buy too much stuff and I went overboard today. So I got to turn and burn the stuff. I got to sell it cheaper than I think. Just get rid of it, get my money back, make, you know, three times my money or five times my money or whatever instead of trying to get, you know, 10 times my money or however I would normally do it. I just got to get rid of the stuff. So anyway, I thought I got pretty cool stuff today, made some pretty cool sales. Hopefully I'll sell some local stuff as well later and I'll show that here in the video. All right, so it is Saturday and I decided to not do garage selling. Even though I found really good ones online, I just have too much stuff right now. I really, really got to get it all listed and sold. And uh, I don't know, I just can't be buying more stuff right now, even though I really want to. So I got everything local listed last night before I went to bed. I mean, it was like midnight when I got the last thing listed and there were still people actually asking about it. So first thing that's going to go today is the set of uh, nightstands I got yesterday. I paid $5 each. So I got $10 in them. I decided to ask 40 and uh, someone's coming by here in just a little bit to pick them up. So, uh, man, these aren't even like real wood. They're not in the greatest condition, but it doesn't really matter. I got a clue last week when someone bought them saying that... Uh, she said it was hard to find matching sets of nightstands, so that's something I'll be keeping an eye out on. So if I find any matching sets and they're cheap enough, I'll probably buy them. So anyway, hopefully they show up pretty soon. I can make $30 off of it. All right, I sold both of those nightstands for 40 bucks. That was a $30 profit. They were happy with them. They're going to take them home and repaint them. And now I have someone coming over for the vanity. I got it yesterday for 20 bucks, which was an amazing price on this. And I decided to ask 120 on them last night on Facebook. And then of course this morning I had several people asking. The first person wanted me to hold them till Friday for the full 120. I was like, I'm sorry, I just can't hold it that long. I have several people asking. And I know they would probably sell today, or it would sell today anyway. So uh, the second person asked, I was like, hey, if you can come over like within the hour, I'll do 110 on them. And that was like, that's what did the trick. They're coming over now. So. I guess I shorted myself 10 bucks, but that will be a $90 profit. I'll turn 20 bucks into 110. So that's pretty good for just a few hours overnight. Well, I sold that vanity for $110. The lady was really happy with that. She said it's gonna go with the room that she's doing up. And now someone is coming by to uh, buy this little tiny, I think it might be a plant stand. I'm not sure if it's really a side table, 
but it's got pretty cool design three legs got that marble top and the metal here and all that but anyway I got it for what was it three dollars yesterday and I was asking 25 but I want this thing to go quick so I dropped the price down to 20 and then some lady that's like 30 minutes away said she wants to come and get it so hopefully she'll show up soon and I can sell it and make about $17 profit on it okay so now it's Monday and I'm getting ready to ship out all the stuff that sold over the weekend on eBay I did have a couple other local sales I'm not sure I got video on all of them so I mentioned already that I sold the black knight stands um, I sold that uh, little tiny wood and marble table I sold the vintage vanity uh, I also sold the plastic lawn chairs I got for free. I sold them for 10 bucks. just got rid of them real quick. I had a lot of people ask about that. And I should have been more clear in my listing on Facebook. I put $10 and everyone was asking, is that each or for all three? So I'll have to remember next time I have multiples or something like that to make sure to put that on there, that, you know, prices for everything together, something like that. Okay, I also sold the uh, little mid-century side table, <coughs> excuse me, little mid-century side table, the little square Mersman table. Uh, what did I pay on that? Four or five dollars at the garage sale. I think it was five dollars and I sold it for 20. So this is 15 bucks. And I met the lady over at Menards and I was picking up stuff for a project I was doing for DIY Dork anyway, so that worked out pretty well. I think that was it for local sales as far as I can remember. So let me show you the eBay sales. Okay, first one here ended up being a big dud. Uh, I bought it for 50 cents. I think it's Salvation Army. It says hat for Disney's Animal Kingdom. It's got the leather bill and the tree of life on here and the tag and all that kind of stuff. When I looked it up, I bought this months and months and months ago. I think it was last fall. Anyway, when I, whoops, when I researched it back then, there was one that had sold for like 20 bucks. So I was thinking, wow, I could turn 50 cents into 20 bucks. I'm totally buying that. Well, I had it listed forever and nothing happened. And then I dropped the price down to like 15. Then I dropped the price down to like 10. Finally, the like I've mentioned in the previous videos, I dropped prices on a bunch of stuff. I had that thing all the way down to $5.95. And it finally got someone interested in it. So it sold for $5.95 plus $3.75 shipping, which is a total of 970 so I paid 50 cents turned it into like six bucks whatever I'll make a little bit of money off of it and I'll be done okay next one uh, grab it here nice and heavy this is the Skechers four-wheelers these are Skechers skates they were in great condition look like they were used maybe one time got them at a garage sale for 10 bucks and uh, I'll show a picture to, so you can get a better idea of what they look like but basically it's like a pair of Skechers sitting on top of a roller skate frame, okay? So uh, it was a girl's pair, I don't remember what. They fit my wife, she tried them out, they worked great. So that's probably the second time they were used. And uh, anyway, like I said, I got them for 10 bucks. I thought they were gonna sell for like 55 or 60. So I had them at, I think 54, nine, yeah, 54.95. And it got interest, but nothing happened. So I dropped them down to 49.95 or best offer. And I got an offer for $45. So I decided to take it. So they paid $45 plus $13.73 shipping, which is a total of $58.73, I believe. So I paid $10 and basically got $45 out of them after fees and all that kind of stuff. I'll probably make right around $30 on them. So that was pretty good. It's not too bad. Um, okay, I also sold this. This is my other. I just sold one of these recently. The Rock Band Pedal. Um, this was not a good, uh, good buy. I thought I was going to get a lot more out of them, but I don't know. They're just not selling like they were when I first bought them. It took me a long time to list. It was one of the things I had sitting under stuff and totally forgot I had it till recently. Um, anyway, I paid five bucks for it because I actually bought the whole little drum set. I thought I was going to part it out and I didn't. I just kept the pedal and uh, something that had five in it. They were selling for, at the time, like almost like 25, 30 bucks, but they dropped way down. And I finally marked this one under everyone else to get rid of it at $12.95 plus shipping. So it sold for $12.95 plus $9.85, which is a total of $22.80. So you could probably put one at about $22.95, maybe $24.95, free shipping, and it would sell. And I'm putting it in a priority shoebox, so I'm paying priority prices. Um, and it is over a pound anyway, so I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure yeah, one pound, six ounces. You couldn't send it first class anyway. So it's not too bad. I got rid of it. After it's all said and done, I don't know, I'll make five bucks on it or something like that. Just be done with it. Get rid of it. 
Okay, uh, next one was really good. Where is it? Okay, right here. This one was awesome, okay? Got this at the garage sale uh, a while back where the guy had the awesome uh, old game that was worth tons of money, which I have not listed yet because uh, I have so much stuff. But anyway, I was disappointed that I did not see the game when it first showed up, but he had some ink, so I bought it. And then I returned to the sale later when he had a picture that showed that game. I bought that game for 10 bucks, and it's going to sell for a lot of money. Okay. Several hundred dollars, probably. Okay, basically eight of these. All right, Canon BC02 Ink. Uh, I bought them. He had them priced at five bucks, and I wanted to get a better deal. I was really hoping I could get them for like a dollar a piece, maybe two dollars a piece. Uh, and I made the mistake of making the first offer. He, I asked, well, how much you ask on? And he said, well, what do you want to pay for them? So I offered him twenty dollars for all eight. I think that worked out to two fifty if I did my math right. So I got them for two fifty each, which is still a great deal. They were selling anywhere from $8.95 to $9.95 to $14.95 a piece. They were kind of all over the place. It just really depended on, you know, I don't know. You could pretty much ask what you wanted on them. You could get it. They were selling really well. So I got eight of them. I was going to either divide them into sets of two or sets of four. And now that I just have so much stuff, I thought, I'm just going to sell it all. Just be done in one shot. I can put it in one box, send it out one time. So I have... All eight in here, I have 20 bucks in them, and I listed them for $100 or $120 plus free shipping, okay? Figuring that I would probably get, you know, a 110 offer, maybe a 115, and then, you know, I have 20 in them, I pay shipping, I still make good money off of them. And I put my best offer down to $100, and like overnight, I got a $100 offer, and I was in the mood to get rid of stuff, so I just took it. I didn't counter anything, I just took it. So I have 20 in it, sold for 100. It is not very heavy, but I think it's over a pound. Yeah, one pound, 13 ounces. So shipping won't be that bad. Um, I looked it up, it's gonna be 9.98 to send it priority, so I'm another $10 in. So basically I have 29.98 in them. Sold it for 100, that brings me down to 70. Then I also gotta pay some fees. I'll probably make 50 something dollars on them. So that's pretty good profit. So that's not too bad. Let's do it one shot. Ink is a really good seller. Even have data stuff. These didn't even have a date on them, but I've sold ink that's like three, four years old and it still sells. Okay, uh, this one's pretty cool. Hopefully you can see it. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I think you'll be able to see it good enough. This is that vintage. I've got, well, let's see if I go up right there. I've got a secret game. It's from 1956. It's almost complete. It's not in the greatest condition. The box is a little messed up. And it's missing a couple of parts, but it's almost all there. I got this at a really interesting garage sale that had tons of antiques and then like redone furniture. Really interesting sale. And I ended up buying like the toy sections, kind of what I ended up getting. And it was only three bucks. When I looked this game up, one had sold for, I think it was like 54 something dollars plus shipping. So I was like, wow, okay, that thing's worth some good money. So I put it up at, uh, let me think here. I think I had it at 40, or sorry, at 50. Six ninety five, fifty four ninety five, somewhere around fifty five bucks, and nothing happened. So then I dropped the price down to fifty dollars. Let me think here. Yeah, fifty dollars or best offer. I just wanted to get rid of it, so I put my best offer down to forty dollars. The same night that I got the hundred dollar offer on the ink, I got a forty dollar offer on this game. So I'm only three in it. I took it. So it sold for forty dollars plus nine twenty six shipping, which is of course forty nine twenty six. And I only have three in it. That's really good. So the 40 is what counts on my part, minus 3 is 37, and then 13% the on uh, $40 is like another, what, $6 or something like that. So um, I'm probably about $30 profit on that. So I'm okay with that. That fits what I'm looking for. Okay, this last one here is really cool. I'm a little nervous about it getting shipped out because it has glass, and it's all wrapped up. So I'll just show a picture of this one. But this is that Unity brand s6 spotlight this is a vintage spotlight from like i don't even know the year but imagine cars from the 30s 40s 50s the police cars had the you know spotlights or sometimes they put them on custom cars and things like that and that's like a chrome you know chrome with the big handle and you can turn it and turn it on all kind of stuff I found this one at a garage sale it was marked 15 dollars but i went on saturday they said it was half price day so i got it for 750 it looked like it had never been installed it's who knows how old it is 50 60 70 years old really old and it had like never been installed it's chrome so it's just a little bit pitted like old chrome gets but not like rusty 
I have another one. This is the S6. I have an S5 that's in worse shape, and it is not something. It was a bad buy. I spent 25 bucks on the thing. I'm not sure I'm going to get my money back on it. But this one uh, is doing really well. Now, I had to play with the price a little bit to get some action on it until it finally sold. And I had it at, I think I started it at $59.95 plus shipping. Nothing happened. Then I decided to change how I priced it, so I put it up to $64.95 with the best offer down at $50, figuring someone's going to come in somewhere between there, and I might get $55 to $60, something like that. And I think, again, it was the same day I got offers on these other items, I got a $50 offer. I was like, Ugh, I paid $750, I'm just going to take it, just be done, move on. I got so much other stuff that that is good enough for now. So I took it. So it sold for $50. They're also paying $14.19 shipping. So it's a total of $64.19. So I was asking $64.95. They basically paid that as if I was to free shipping. So I wasn't exactly sure how much shipping was going to cost. And it's $14.19. So that's not bad. And that's with the parcel select and... I could still ship it um, priority, and because eBay gives me a, uh, a slight discount, I might pay a little less than that, maybe like 13 something. So I might do that, and they'll get it faster, because they're expecting to get it in two to nine days, and they're going to get it in like two to three days now. So that's pretty good. Okay, so I think that was it for eBay sales over the weekend. Pretty good. These were good numbers. That's not too bad. I wish it was like that every couple of days, not just on the weekend or whatever. And the local sales are all right. I bought a whole bunch of stuff and then got in trouble when I brought it home because my wife doesn't like when I bring my stuff home. So we had to rearrange and I need to quit buying the really cheap stuff because it moves, but it may not be worth the money because I don't know. I still like selling, you know, buying something for five bucks and selling it for 15 or 20 because that is just extra cash that I can bump back up. But I really, I just don't, I'm buying so much stuff, I don't have the room. I need to be buying the bigger, better stuff and like the tables and chairs and the dressers and things like that where I can make 50 bucks off of them or whatever. So, I mean, just think, I could buy one dresser during the week for, let's say, $50, sell it for $100, that's a $50 profit. Then on the weekend when I'm out and about, I could go pick up, let's say, uh, three or four small tables list them, hope I make $15 each to maybe make a $45 profit and then one or two sells and then you know I'm left with the other one and then I got dropped a price and then I'm only making like $10 on it instead of $15. So I still recommend doing it. If you have the room and the time, that stuff sells. You just got to find the good, good pieces that are interesting, that are real wood, that will flip quick. Those uh, black nightstands were particle board. They were in terrible condition but they had potential and they matched. So those sold, so I will still buy those because I only paid 10, they sold for 40, $30 profit, that's pretty good. But these little rinky dink tables and those antique chairs are just not moving like I thought. So really, if you're gonna do furniture, stick to, uh, stick to what sells. It's gonna be table and at least four chairs, um, nice big dressers, sometimes coffee tables, if it has like matching side tables that works. And then I'm learning that matching nightstands sell really well. And then everything else, I would almost not bother with. I would not try selling shelves or, I mean, any of that kind of stuff. It just, you know, it just depends. But think of things people need all the time. Dressers, tables, and sometimes coffee tables and things like that. Recliners and couches do well, too, if you have a way to move them. So, anyway, uh, I got tons of work ahead of me, so I need to go ahead and uh, ship these out. This weekend, I spent a lot of time working on two projects for the DIY Dork channel. So I, that's why I'm a little backed up on this. I need to ship them out. But if you like these videos, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. I really appreciate that. That helps the video get seen by more people. And then uh, leave a comment of what you think. Also, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. And then hit that little uh, bell icon to keep up with more of these videos. So thanks for checking it out.